I will show you a universal method to overclock any GPU, whether it be Nvidia, AMD or even Intel, to increase your FPS drastically and improve the overall performance of your PC without any BS. Let's get right into it. So you will need to download the MSI Afterburner, this is what we will be using to overclock the GPU. The link to their website will be in the description, simply download the final version and the other software that you need to download is the MSI Combustor. Click this download button, after downloading both of these programs, install them just as you would any other software and load them up. This is how the interface should look like for the MSI Afterburner. From here, you can simply click on the K symbol to open up the MSI Combustor and it should open up something like this. Then you need to make sure that your actual graphics card is selected here, ensure that the resolution is set to what you play your games at and then click on run stress test. This is going to put load on the GPU while we overclock, ensuring we can safely overclock the GPU without breaking it. Because if you apply too high of an overclock, and simply launch into a game, it can damage your GPU. So we will be using the MSI Combustor to safely overclock the GPU without damaging it or without causing any harm. Just keep it running in the background and the first thing that you want to do is maximize the power limit and the temperature limit. Both of these are safe to do so and once you have done it, simply hit the check mark to apply it. Then we will be unlocking the automatic fan curve and set it to around 70ish percent. This is going to lower the temperature and anywhere between 65 to 85 degrees Celsius is safe for the GPUs. As long as you have your temperature in that range, you should be fine. Hit the check mark and your fan speed should ramp up. You can lower it down if your temperatures are really good and the fans are making too loud of a noise. Now let's move on to the most important thing to overclock and that is core clock. The general rule of thumb is to increase it with an increment of 20 each time and then test it inside of the MSI combustor to make sure that this does not freeze or crash. Because when it freezes or crashes, that is when you know that you have gone over the overclock limit. And you should decrease it by 20 and ensure that the overclock is stable. So simply go ahead and increase it by 20, then hit enter and then you will need to click the check mark to apply that. Then take a look at the MSI combustor, if nothing changes, it does not freeze or crash, then you can simply go ahead and increase by another 20, once again hit apply and keep doing this until you find the place where the MSI combustor freezes or crashes. For me that was around 12.30 so I'm gonna just go ahead and apply that and then we can move on to memory clock. Now memory clock won't make that much of a difference in terms of FPS but it does still provide minor improvements so I do recommend overclocking this as well. Once again we will increment this by 20 each time then apply then look for any crashes or freezes and we do that until the MSI combustor freezes or crashes. So simply go ahead and increase it by 20, hit enter then apply and that would be good. Moving on to voltage, well you shouldn't really touch it because it's really high risk and the reward is pretty low. One more thing that I forgot to mention is that you should go into the settings, make sure that your actual GPU is selected and overclock that one. Once you have applied these overclocks, you will need to save the profile. Click on this icon, then click on one of these profiles and it should be saved there. You can of course save multiple profiles with multiple overclocks. And the final thing to do is once you have tested a safe overclock, is simply click on this Windows icon icon so that all of these overclocks are automatically applied at Windows Startup and you don't have to manually apply them each time. Also if you are confused or need any kind of help, you can join my discord server, just tag me there with your question or problem and I will help you out. But if this video helps you then make sure to leave a like down below and also check out this video to further optimize your PC. 